So while Birds of Prey may have categorically, catastrophically bombed, DC keep on, uh, keep on going. Keep on going. I think they'd had pretty much solid hits for a good two years until Birds of Prey came out. Apparently the film was so-so, a bit indifferent. Critics liked it, but that's not always the best way to judge if a film is good or not nowadays. Um, but from the, from the people I know who'd seen it, they were like, it's a bit lukewarm. It's just a bit bland. Nothing really that exciting in the film other than Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. Even that, they prefer to surprisingly, in Suicide Squad, even though she was one of the better parts of that film. But, uh, yeah, bombed as well at the box office. But there is a new little snippet, the first actual snippet, for Matt Reeves, the Batman, with Robert Pattinson. Someone who, when they said they were going to cast him, I was like, this is... I don't think this is the best idea. But as I looked at his filmography and saw some of the stuff he'd been doing, the guy is actually a really, really talented actor. Like... It goes under the radar because of Twilight, you know, but he's actually very, very good at what he does. Uh, and Matt Reeves is a really, really solid director. So this is a screen test. Now, I remember with The Joker, they did this with, with that film maybe a year before it came out. They put out a screen test type of... It was like a mini bit of viral marketing, and I think it really helped push the film in the direct direction it did. And, and while it did make over a billion dollars, I think that may have had these small tidbits have an impact on box office. And when when something is marketed correctly and well, I mean, everything's to play for at the box office, as shown with Harley Quinn and Birds of Prey with that film. It bombed at the box office, and its marketing was really, really bad. Change the name and all of that stuff. Well, let's get to this anyway. Hopefully. It's only 50 seconds, it's not like it's a lot, but let's get to this anyway. Let's go. Oh. Oh. It's like an odd shape. Oh. That's spicy. What is with the filter though? Oh! a bit of spice there in 50 seconds in like 40 seconds 30 seconds of screen time the music behind it the scoring of that was really really good it was epic it built the tension um it looked a bit like a mech suit not like not like ben affleck's mech suit in batman v superman but it had a bit of like an arkham knight type of vibe to it the 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 suit itself it looks armored but not super armored you know it looks like he's got some protection on him but it's not super heavy it might be a bit lightweight definitely a different look to ben affleck's regular suit which was more of a uh dark knight return suit and then with with christian bell's suit it was a bit like the arkham knight and and, and that type of stuff with the way the games were i think this is very very similar to that design that some of the designs in that game i think it looks it looks really really good um I mean, I see that it's not exactly stitched together or anything, so it looks like it's piece by piece. So mobility is probably going to be pretty easy in this. Stuff I've read about the production in the film is that it's not like Robert Pattinson as Batman is a super storied Batman. Like, he's only been... It's his first year, or it's his, he's, he's just started becoming Batman. So this is a really interesting look. The music itself was epic, dynamic. Uh, the filter was odd this red filter the vibe here very artistic but at the same time a bit daredevil-y you know if you watch daredevil that red tone the red vibe it felt even the music actually it had that type of vibe to it now i love me daredevil season one daredevil season three a lot two is good but one and three are actually superb bits of television and i'm not gonna say Matt Reeves has, has has copied it, but I think he's taken inspiration here from Daredevil with the filtering, with the broodingness of Batman because they're, they're similar-ish characters in some ways, you know, Daredevil and Batman. Uh, one has a lot of money, one has 
a bit of money. But, but um, yeah, I, th I think there are similarities here with the way this has been done and the way Daredevil was shot through that Netflix show. Really cool design, though. Um, it looks like they've done a really good job differentiating it from previous Batmans and making him his own thing here. And Pattinson, while I, I wasn't sure if he could do it, I think he can. I don't think he has the look necessarily. Now that's me talking about looks like I'm the, the king of the, the jungle. No, I'm not. I'm really not. But I don't know if he has the look for Bruce Wayne. I think he can pull it off. I do. But I'm not sure he has that little pizzazz about him. He has the off killness, the off centeredness about Bruce Wayne. I think he can do that really well. And if that's the as aspect and, and the, the side of him they're going to try and push to the forefront, then I think he might be able to actually do it. But the suaveness, the silkiness that he has, I'm, it's, the silkiness, yeah. I, I don't know if he has that. I'm not sure. But cool look nonetheless. Really, really cool. And for 50 seconds, they've probably got the internet buzzing about this. The next couple days, it will be lit up with images of this. People will probably change the colouring and stuff to make it look like it's legit, like black and and gold maybe with some of the with some of the bits on it or maybe they'll make the wow they could really do a lot of things we actually got no coloring here for the actual suit so they might be slightly with grays or blacks or blues it could be really really cool anyway guys if you did enjoy this video please do like share comment and subscribe to the channel down there if you didn't if you didn't then uh, batman himself will come after you all right you don't want that you really don't, so just subscribe anyway to avoid that. Now, I've been original the comic. You've been great. I'll see you next time. That's tomorrow. Still, my voice has not fully recovered, but I will be here again tomorrow because I make a video every single day. Been over 600 days, not stopping till we get to 10,000 subscribers. So subscribe. Come back tomorrow. There will indeed be more quality, shitty content. Hashtag quality, shitty content. Hashtag... I'm a sack of shit. So, uh, I'll be here. You'll be here. I'll be here. See you tomorrow. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Skadoosh.